If you are thinking to get a bartending job in one of the most fascinating places in the world, watch this video until the end. Uh, first of all, big thank you to Romy and Carlos for helping me to make this episode. If you haven't been to Ibiza, you probably don't know that season actually starts in early May and all closing parties begin in the middle of September. Don't expect to find many of the cocktail bars with like handcrafted cocktails since people come mostly to attend huge parties with super famous DJs and as I figured, by far the most popular cocktail there is mojito and people drink also an insane amount of champagne. So what they would expect from you? Definitely confidence, enthusiasm, positive and uh, definitely ready to work under pressure since like everybody's so busy. If you want to work in the club, not in a restaurant though. If you are more or less qualified bartender and with good resume, it shouldn't be too hard to find a job since there are not many skilled bartenders, as I've been told. Uh, first steps, uh, some bartenders apply online, for example, Pacha Group and have a lot of jobs available, some job agencies, but they will charge you for that. And some bartenders start there first and waiting for response. And if you qualify there, it's really nice. A representative will be guiding you through all the steps that you need to do uh, for arrival accommodation, and basically they will add you to social network where you can ask uh, all kind of questions so it's really, really convenient when you are looking specifically for bartending job chances increases if you actually go to the island if you actually already there before the season most of the interviews it's really the trial day but again if you have decent experience and it shouldn't be so hard to find a job since level is not so high accommodations a great thing that clubs bars resorts Often they are actually offering their own accommodations, but eventually you can get your own for like a pretty decent price. I heard it's uh, not super expensive. You can get for around like 500 euro uh, your own room. Maybe sometimes it will be shared with one person, but I still think it's not too bad. Don't expect to get the best job right away, but instead you can find something like simple, being maybe an extra bartender. Keep applying for different positions at the top clubs, like Carlos did, and now he's actually working probably one of the best places in Ibiza it's called Ushuaia it's absolutely fantastic like a beach club resort good news Ibiza is definitely a great place to make money some places include service charge which is big extra since there are a lot of tourists who are actually used to tipping bartending and services so it's a big big plus uh, also like as I spoke bartenders are very happy to work at the place and it's sort of like um, you have a holiday as well all bartenders I talk with they mentioned that besides famous parties there they love stunning beaches and there are actually a lot of beautiful spots where they go on their days off and then just uh, spend day outside it, it, it's absolutely incredible place it's an awesome uh, way to spend season and I hope when I come back I will see some of you guys uh, attending bars in Ibiza uh, but keep in mind it also not maybe the best place to become a better bartender like increase your knowledge in cocktails just it, it, it's definitely not like you being a bartender in London or New York where you can go get inspired in different places no this one is more like for like high volume uh, really really fast uh, uh, mix and drinks and simple cocktails some of the bars of course have uh, uh, cocktail menus but mostly it's just simple drinks so thank you guys for staying until the end and if you enjoyed it please consider subscribing hit the like button like this and I will see you next week